Hey guys, Rick Yagi here, Northeast Whitetail. <clears throat> it's uh, March 13th, and we're up here on a little area that I call Brushy Ridge on my property here, and I'm about to cut down the biggest tree that I think I've ever cut down before. It looks like it's over a hundred foot tall. Big hemlock tree, it's starting to get kind of rotten down here at the bottom. And uh, this is definitely one that I want the loggers to take. We're gonna be trying to wedge it, laying right in here. We're gonna move this UTV here, of course. And uh, well, we'll see what happens, man. We're gonna try to take this beam down. Okay, friends, we're back. And uh, official measurement of the tree. I walked off 40 paces from the back of this stump clear out to the top. It's exactly 40 yards, 40 times three to 120 feet. Definitely the biggest tree I've ever dropped before. And uh, we're getting it all cleaned off here for the loggers. This tree will make some good logs here. What you probably can't see here is this tree here was a uh, very dangerous tree to fall. Very, very serious risk of barber chair on this tree here, which is why I 
bore cut it in the center and then zipped it around like that to make sure I had a decent amount of holding wood on that thing so this thing wouldn't barber chair and I'll show you why right here huge split running up the trunk there and pretty much goes all the way up to where the trunk split bifurcate right there and if we look down here at the stump here you can see that it just it's pretty much split all the whole way across so we had to bore cut this tree here uh, I had three wedges in there we wedged it pretty hard and uh, got it to fall right where I wanted it so Boy, it's uh, both exciting and, and very uh, very terrifying at the same time, dropping trees like this. You got to be on your A game, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. It's Brick from Northeast Whitetail. Until next time, we'll see you later. Happy habitating. Safe habitating.